Hi guys, um, I'm just going to show you a quick video on how the CPU and RAM together work together to transport data uh, around the CPU. Now, on the slide in front of you, you'll notice that we've got a CPU, we've got the RAM, and we've got a calculator as well. So, if you could imagine, if you're sat in front of a Windows computer and you go on to Start and Accessories and then click on Calculator, as soon as you click on Calculator, which is currently run stored on your hard drive, as soon as you double click on it to open, the calculator will then move into your RAM because it's running in memory. Now, follow with me, do this as I do it. If you open up your calculator and you type in the number three, three will then be turned into binary by the compiler in your, on your computer and it, it, that value will store in RAM. Now, when you press plus and two, then again, two is stored in binary in RAM until you press equals. Now, not much happens at this stage because the CPU doesn't really do anything until you press that equal sign. So when you do press equals within a matter of nanoseconds, what's going to happen is those values that are currently stored in RAM are going to get onto the data bus and then are going to be transferred into the registers of your CPU. Now they will sit there and now the CU, which is the control unit, knows there's data waiting to be processed. So the CU will take that data from the registers and it will move it up towards the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit. Now whilst it's in the arithmetic logic unit, the arithmetic logic unit will do all the calculations and do the working out because that is essentially the brain of the CPU. So it will work out what 3 plus 2 is. Of course, it's in binary. It will work that out. So we get 101 which is the binary value for five. And then once it's calculated and worked that answer out, it will then say to the CU, right, we've done our job now, it's time to go back to the memory. So it will construct the CU to transport the new value, which is 101, and store that value into the registers. Once it's in the registers, the control unit will then send it along the memory bus to be put it back in to RAM. So whilst that value is there and it's running in RAM, what will happen is that value then, then will show on your screen as five. And that is simply how a CPU works. I hope you found this video useful.